Hello, welcome to an exciting interview. We have Tanya O'Callaghan and Derek Green, who are known for multiple interesting places um, and connections, but now we're talking about Highway to Health. Hi, Tanya. How, Derek? How are you? Hello. Hello. Thanks for having us. <laughs> yeah, you have to say that with vigor, you know, Highway to Health. Highway to Health. <laughs> Highway to Health. That's an awesome name. Um, I definitely can hear where it's coming from a little bit. Um, how'd you, um, Derek, uh, I know you, uh, you've got a little sidekick called uh, Sepultura. Tanya, yeah. I've seen you on stage a couple of times as well. So uh, what do you guys do? Well, yeah, I'm a touring bass player. I play with a bunch of different bands. That's what I've done for many years now and also a lifelong activist and vegan and co-host with Derek of Highway to Health. <laughs> and uh, I, I sing uh, in a Brazilian band called Sepultura. Um, the band has been around for over 30 years and I've been in the band for 20 years and over 20 years. And I am the co-host with Tanya O'Callaghan who's in my top right corner <laughs> <laughs> so highway to health what's the concept if nobody's ever heard of that before what's the what's the high concept i guess what started is that we were we're both traveling musicians we've been on the road for many years and um plant-based and we had a lot of the same questions that a lot of people were coming to us with where do you get your protein from how do you stay fit on the road? How are you able to survive um, not eating meat? Um, how did it all started? Uh, what type of food are you eating? Um, all these many questions. And it was something that kind of came about at the same time where we were thinking of, it would be great to see a show, a travel show, where they actually had um, plant-based food or food that you would actually want to eat. I mean, a lot of the travel shows that we're seeing, uh, there are a lot of things that I would never eat super overpriced, very exotic, and um, just not, uh, it just wasn't rational, you know? I wanted yeah. to see a show that was showing, that, talking about the future, you know, talking about sustainability, talking about things that really mattered to me. And, and, to, and actually, Tanya had the same idea as well. And so we decided to combine our ideas together, um, and which would actually is a great combination because we're coming from different parts of the, the planet but we have these same ideas and same ethos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's so important to show people like, because you can use us as an example, if, if we can do it and it's easy to us and anyone can do it because we literally live on the road. So <laughs> it's, you know, it's that and also using um, the fun, uh, like of being a touring musician and the people that we have access to and, the diversity we have access to as well and just showing people how really it is actually really simple to be plant-based even if it's only a couple of days a week or whatever and making it fun because uh, as we all know there's so many amazing documentaries out there and they they all serve a very purposeful role in you know making a difference in the world but there was a huge gap in the market for an ongoing series there's no actual series that goes on and on and follows people around and food in different places and different people's stories. And the fun thing that's really happened is like it started, you know, an idea between us on a piece of paper and it was the basis of it. Yes, is like food and, and culture and what, but it's grown exponentially since we started traveling. We were on board with Sea Shepherd looking at ocean conservation. We were with Ford Motors looking at the automotive industry. So it's just getting broader and broader. And it's not just about food. That's obviously like a unifier because people want to sit down and have a meal and we can talk about it. But it's really expanded, which is wonderful. And we're able to, you know, see local heroes and also use celebs and rock stars and whatnot. But it's it's really, really expanding. And, and there's many topics being covered, but it obviously all relates back to sustainability plant-based and shifting towards a, a more plant-based world. Yeah, cool. That sounds really good. So Tanya, why, why plant-based? Why, why is that important for you? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, I've been a vegan my whole life pretty much since I can remember like I was a little girl I was only four or five when I first realized what meat was so it's always been my life um, and it's always been my first passion is is you know being an activist in animal welfare so it's the only life I know is plant-based and you know over the years I've gotten more and more into um, trying to use my platform because you know with the music industry you get this platform and what's the platform for if you don't use it for good right so it's it's really been wonderful to be able to combine both passions which is great and just show the world like because Derek also is a long long time um vegan too so you know we've been doing it since way before people even knew what vegan meant <laughs> so we we come with a lot of experience right cool cool what about you Derek well I think it's really uh you know, it's changed my life radically when I went to, to plant-based. And I think the best way of getting people to see a different side is to really show that and, and to really, by, by acting out by your own life, you know, as using your life as an example. And um, I thought it was really important because there are so many aspects of the lifestyle that actually tend everything that you're really doing and that lifestyle is really for not only yourself, but other beings on this planet and um, taking care of that. You know, it's really important to to realize that we're not the only um, animals on this planet and we have to take care of each other. And it's also not necessary. You know, a lot of times I, I didn't realize that, um, you know, I could live a life without eating animals or even using animal products. You know, it just the options weren't really there. I just never knew about them. But now it's a time where the, things have changed, are changing rapidly. And we can, and now there's so many different companies and people with ideas that are coming out where we can adapt to different change. And it's really important for humanity to evolve. And it's not necessary to, to continuously do harmful things to this planet and to other animals. It's just not necessary. So, uh, I think for me, it's really great to see that there are these options that are out there and to really push that for people to understand and see that they do exist. Yeah, yeah, that sounds very rational when you put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tanya, how's it been filming a travel show when there's a pandemic going on? Well, we looked out, whether it was the universe or whatever, we literally wrapped up filming season one right before this happened. Oh, we did. Congratulations. Yeah. So we're in editing now. That's what we've been doing since the lockdown. So literally, I came back from New York in March. We'd just been in Ireland in, was that January or March? I think. It was yeah, it was January. January, February, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, it was right after Nam. I'm like, when <laughs> days yeah. have mushed now. So, yeah, we literally finished filming season one a couple of weeks before the whole world shut down. And we were, it was, I mean, obviously the pandemic is the worst thing ever. Um, but timing wise for filming, we were off the road. So now we're able to use this time to edit and, and get all that process done, which is the long, painstaking process. But we're, we're very close, so it's great. <laughs> I'm sure there's a few interesting stories that we're going to see. <laughs> As the episodes unfold, but um, but is there anything that you'd like to um, you'd like to share with us now? You mean that's happened while filming or getting there? Yeah, yeah, on this on while filming, like on this on this whole um, pretty extensive trip that you've you've done to get this season together. I mean, I think there's a there's a many memories that will come out in all the outtakes, but I think what sticks okay. out is definitely being down with Sea Shepherd. Um, and that was a really interesting experience because, you know, we had to have armed guards on board um, because there's there's a lot of tension between what's going on with the um, with the local uh, poachers, I guess, the illegal poachers and whatnot. And there's a lot of tension between the small fisheries and the poachers and what Sea Shepherd are doing. And I think there's a lot of... Um, just misinformation between one another. So in order to be safe, they have a lot of armed Mexican um, guards on on boat on the boats. So when we were on the boats, we were be being protected, which was very strange and bizarre, but also quite the experience. I think that one sticks out. And then just lot, like meeting just characters everywhere. Like I loved being in Brazil. Derek lived there for a long time. So 
he was able to kind of be the the guide when we were down there and it was wonderful but I think the one that sticks out most is probably Sea Shepherd. Cool. 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 Derek, you've been you've been on the road quite a bit um all over the world. Is was there anything that that surprised you on on this go anything about the the local food or uh anything that was like something you experienced for the first time? Well, I think one thing that stuck out in my mind was being on the Kiss cruise that Tanya was playing, right. um, when she was playing with Steven Adler uh, with his band. And, and so I, I accompanied the band on the, on the Kiss cruise. It was my first time um, <laughs> being on one, and that was mind-blowing, uh, just being around <laughs> so many Kiss fanatics. And the fact that Tanya knew like maybe one song from Kiss. <laughs> I know, I don't know. Bl blowing my mind the entire time. Um, but that was quite the experience hearing Kiss 24 hours a day um, for like four four days in the Caribbean. Um, so, and, and, wow. and just, yeah, that was definitely, yeah, not what I expected. Trippy. But it was great, you know, like adapting to the seafood or the actual food on the sea and, um, you know, having them like prepare stuff for us that we could actually eat, which was really nice. Um, and just an international crew of people and, and staff and, and everything. So it was really exciting and really funny. Um, but yeah, Kiss Cruise definitely <laughs> sticks out in my mind. Yeah, you just um, like triggered a bunch of memories there. <laughs> like, <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> we had a singing chef. That was awesome. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. On the cruise. Yeah, the who cruise. got who got to know us after like one day and then started making loads of vegan food for us and singing to us every time we came up. It was brilliant. Oh sweet. Good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that sounds like sounds like a valuable person to know on board. Yeah. Great. Yeah, what are the plans for releasing the the first season? So that process is happening at the moment and we're not really allowed to say any dates or any details yet because this is obviously the, sure. the painstaking process but all going well fall we'll, we're, we'll be in the fall bracket so um we're we're doing a lot of the the boring side of it now but we we aim fall or, or early 2021 um but the whole season is shot so we've season one underway and as soon as it's safe to travel we'll be starting season two so and we have a lot of stories ready for that all over the world so it's exciting wow. Yeah, wow. there'll never wow. there'll never be a lack of content or guests or interesting <laughs> stories. This could go on for twenty five years. Like, <laughs> no, yeah, that's, cool. that, that's yeah, that's that's really cool to hear because mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think the the, the plant based movement has been has been growing around the world, obviously, and mm -hmm. and it's really great to see that uh, that you're you know you're able to you know make multiple seasons out of uh, out of traveling in a in a plant based fashion around mm -hmm. the world. Yeah. Um, all right. That's really well, the cool. best place. People should just keep up with us on on the social medias because as anything that's announced will be announced there. So we're probably most active on Instagram, and then we have so it's just at Highway to Health official, um, and also website Highway to Health Show dot com. So any announcements will be first there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sweet. Sweet. Yeah. I um, will will definitely include the Instagram account handle with this video. Yeah, I looked at your social profiles earlier, and uh, yeah, there was also your Facebook page, which, by the way, at the time I looked at it, it had exactly 666 fans. So. Yeah, 666. <laughs> yeah, we won't, we won't add any more. We won't add any more fans. And if they Just do, keep it then we delete them. Keep there, keep there. Yeah. No, by now it's going to be a whole lot more, obviously. <laughs> really cool, really cool. All right, this has been exciting to exciting to hear about your experiences and, and what you're doing and obviously very very grateful that, that you are, are are using your your platform, like you said, Tanya, in order to make a difference for the for the world and for the animals. Um, we'd love to talk to more people like you who are who are making a change for the for the better in the world. Do you have any recommendations for anybody? Yeah, Tanya. A lot. I mean, off the top of my head, I'm going to say, because I was just talking to him, Damien Mander from the International Anti-Poaching Foundation, who does incredible work. 
and um yeah they just released an, a very powerful documentary of the the women of akashinga if i'm pronouncing that right the all female troopers out protecting our beautiful animals in africa so i would definitely say damien mander is someone you should talk to plant-based also and saving lots of animals and um, there's a million rock stars but i'm going to start doing a call out i'll be i'll be shot if i mention one and <laughs> mention the other so um i'm no, gonna leave good. it with damien because yeah. i was just talking to him so that's good that's good right. <laughs> i appreciate that yes yes very cool um Anything you want to leave our viewers with uh, after after this uh, short chat that we had? Obviously, everybody has to go to Instagram and follow your accounts and stay tuned. Yeah, I think that's the, the most important is to really sh show the support on our social media and, uh, you know, pass the word, share the page with other friends that might enjoy something uh, like a show like ours. Um, and we'll definitely keep everyone updated. You know, it's going to be really exciting. Very exciting. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Yes. Yeah. Right. And it's, is, it, is, it, is it Highway to Health or is it Highway to Health? Like no, it's Highway, to, highway health. to Health. <laughs> health. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thank you. I think that's a super good note to end on. Thank you very much, Tanya. Thank you very much, Derek, for your time. Absolutely. Thank you for all you, you do. <laughs>